I'm out on the streets in Reykjavik and being as nosy as I am, I saw a film crew and went over and asked what was going on and it turns out that we have a Faroese musician, a guy from the Faroe Islands here in Reykjavik. So he, I'm just going to have a quick uh, chat with him. So would you like to introduce yourself please and tell us a bit about your music and why you're in Reykjavik? Yeah, my name is uh, Hokna. Hockney, maybe in, in English. Hockney, right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and um, I come from the Faroe Islands, which is uh, quite close to Iceland. Um, small country with 18 islands and 48,000 inhabitants. And um, <clears throat> I'm here because uh, we just had uh, Iceland Airwaves in Reykjavik, which is an international music showcase festival with uh, loads of bands. So was that from all over Europe or all over the world? Uh, a lot of Icelandic bands and then a lot of uh, Scandinavian and Nordic countries. So kind of a regional for, for North Europe. Yeah, uh, but also Northwest some Europe. bands from Canada, USA and oh, UK. So it was quite sort of international. So is it traditional Faroese music that you're... No. Or no, a variety of things? More modern. Uh, more modern. Rock, and yes. is that popular in other countries, say in Scandinavia and Iceland, do you think? Or is it mainly in the Faroese Islands? Um, no, no, it's, uh, you know, it's music that works everywhere. Yes. Yeah. And have you had any time to get out and about in Reykjavik or in see any more of the island here? Well, uh, I've been here several times, so oh. on previous visits I've visited some of those locations you need to see when you're here. Uh, so yeah. what one or two locations would you recommend for visitors coming to Iceland or Reykjavik since you have had quite a bit of experience here? Um, Maybe people who are only here for two or three days so they can't fit everything in. Yeah, I think there is this traditional round trip you do, but uh, where you see uh, a big, uh, what's it called, waterfall. Oh and, yeah. Uh, and also one of those places where the water comes out of the, the earth, you know. Ah, okay. the, yes, the hot, geysers. Hot places. geysers. And right. have you been uh, swimming, uh, dipping in these uh, hot pools? Have you done that? No, I haven't actually. Oh, yeah. I should try that. Uh, well, uh, will you have time or are you going back I home have, today? I'm, I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Today we are shooting a music video. And is that um, video just for your music or? Yeah. I've, 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 uh, I have a, an, an Icelandic crew making a video with me. All right, and will yeah. that be on MTV or? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You don't need MTV anymore. No. We have YouTube. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm showing my age by saying things like MTV. I know it's all uh, it's all YouTube now. So, do you have an album at the moment? Yeah, it's a new album. It's called Hokna Hari Hari. Hokna Hari Hari. And Hare, did it come out recently? Uh, it's being, uh, it was released uh, originally in December uh, 2008, but, and, uh, but it's just now been released in Norway, in Denmark, and Iceland. Right, so what I should do when I put this video with you on my blog, I should also look on YouTube to find a video of you performing your music to put yeah. it in the blog post too, right. so we can then have um, me speaking to you and also have... Um, a video with your music to illustrate. Well, I hope you enjoy the filming today and it looks like, is it going to be outside? That it's, the sun looks like it might appear soon? No, we, we just need to do a bit of footage outside and then we go to, into a green studio to, to record the rest. Alright, so yeah. just be a bit outdoors. So thanks very much for speaking to me and enjoy the rest of your uh, time in Reykjavik you. and let's hope your album gets more. <laughs> Well, yeah, it should be good having met people from different places and just being at a festival and stuff. It's all good uh, for promoting Definitely. your album.